Hi guys and welcome to another tutorial Blender and Geometry Notes. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very very simple index viewer useful for points, edges or faces. So let's get started. I'm using Blender version 3.3.1. Go up in the plus general and geometry notes. Create a simple mesh. Plane is a good choice. Press new to create a new geometry notes and we will create a new group node, a sort of index viewer or index helper. So in this moment there is not a simple way to see the index of a mesh in Blender. So yes, you could use these features. So show mesh indices of vertex, edges or polygon. But there's a problem. You can see they are in indices with a mesh that you see not a mesh that you created in geometry nodes so if I create a curve line for example and link these to the group output geometry you don't see the index of geometry created so we need a tool that can show you the same index on generated geometry so I turn off these feature and to do this we want text so the concept is we want to convert a number to a mesh and move this text in the index of the point or edges or faces that we want so first of all we want to use a value to string here because we want to transform a string to curves this converts a string in curves that we can manipulate or move so i drop this curve line and link the geometry here to here i want to use these two nodes with ctrl g to have the group node i want an initial geometry input so i can go here add with plus an attribute a geometry call it source then i want an integer value i can set here integer from zero because index can't go below zero and now without decimals i can link here to the string link the source to the group output as the geometry geometry and the curve instances to the group output calling it viewer so now i i press tab to exit from these i link this simple mesh here in the source and link the geometry in a join node with the viewer and link these to the output and you can see zero because we have a text of zero if i increase these you can see the number that we want and i want to see the index i want where it is so i go here i call this index viewer it's more tricky create the index of all these points and so i decided to show you a simple version of an index viewer i know it's not perfect but uh, i think it's an initial point so entering this group node now we want to move these on the position of the index we indicate in this value input i can easily set the position of these curve instances i can transfer the attribute of the vector of an indexed point or or edge or faces so we will create three of these layout to choose what entity we want so to do this i will use a new integer attribute so we can call it point edge faces the default is one from one to three so one is point two is edges and three is faces and i can use a group input here and where this in a switch is equal to one i want the vector of a transfer attribute of the point with the index of the group input value here so i can duplicate these link the value of this index here and we can rename it in index i want the position of this index of what of the original geometry so i can link the original geometry here and if the pef attribute is equal to one so i want a point i want to use this vector so i can link this directly here and this result here and then link the vector 
of this output to the position of the curve instances of this node. I can collapse this and I can duplicate these nodes, link the same index here and link the same PEF here but indicating that we want not one but two and I want edge. I can link the same original geometry to this transfer attribute. We want the position here, we want the position here and now we can better move this workflow. We can move the equal here perfect move the switch a little bit we can duplicate the switch another time because if we have two we want the edges and we can link this output to the false value of this switch and we can duplicate this entire workflow to link the same geometry the same index and the same PEF attribute set here 3 to have the face information and the link the output of this switch to the false attribute of this switch. So in this case I have perfect selection of what I want, points, edges or faces. Now I can set 1 and you can see I can increase or decrease the value from 0 to the maximum points so I can increase uh, a lot this number but the last position is the maximum index uh, of the mesh so if I set 2 I have this point as the origin point of this 0 1 2 3 and so on now I want to rotate the index along the camera view axis so to do this I need a boolean attribute that we can call follow camera and an object that is our camera we can select this our camera here and we can use this follow camera and camera to rotate this string to curves so first of all with the shift z i can see the solid and i also want a solid for the for the text so i need to fill the curves with an angon and then i want to transform these and rotate by the axis of the camera or a custom rotation if I want. So I can add here a vector attribute and call it custom rotation. Now I can use these three attributes in this way. I added a switch here, set vector and if the follow camera is true I want the rotation of the camera. So to do this I want an object info node. I need to link the object here and use the rotation in the true value of the switch. In the false value of the switch I want to use the custom rotation and use this output as the rotation of the, this transform node. I can create these dots to help me understand the layout and we can select these nodes ctrl j f2 rotation camera we can select these ctrl j f2 text creation now i can test it if i select the camera here and set follow camera you have these it's not correct because we are not using the camera viewer but the, the viewport itself so I need to go to the camera viewer with N in the view attributes make sure to have uh, this check camera to view to let you move in the viewport with the camera otherwise if you uncheck these and you move your view you lost the link from the point of view and the camera and the camera will still at the same position that it has so go in the camera view and you turn on the camera to view and now if i move the text will follow the camera viewer if you don't want to follow the camera you can use a custom rotation and now if i enter in the group node you see that if i have a subdivided mesh so if i press tab to enter in edit mode, 2 to go to edge selection, A to select all the edges, right button subdivide, right button subdivide, tab to exit from the edit mode, you can see these, tab to exit from the group node, if I increase the index, you can see these, from 10 you have these, because 0 and 1 are two separated mesh in these string to curves creation so each mesh has the same origin 
So before the set position, we need to convert this geometry to an instance, a single instance. So 1 and 0 will be a single instance, and then the single instance will be shifted by the position that we want. Now the index is very, very big, so we need to scale this index. To do this, we can easily export the size of this string to curves node and decrease as we want and we could also need to offset the index on the normal of the points to have a gap between the index and the shape so to do this we need to go here and with the position we need to use the normal here, scaled by a value that we want, so we can call it a, an offset that we can export in our group input, and we can call it offset from zero, and then add this normal to the position that we want, to the position of the point, of the edges of the face. Okay, and link this result to the attribute. So we can collapse this a little bit and we can use the same approach, duplicating them here and here, link the position here and here, link the position here and here, or more easy, link the same result of the add here and here. We can drop all these nodes. Now we can use this offset, increasing or decreasing this number, and this is the result. Now, to better understand where is the index, we can add a point on the position we want to have the index. So I can select all these nodes, Shift D to duplicate it. I can add an icosphere here. I can link the same geometry here. I can link the same index and BEF here, but in this time I don't want to use this information but only the position of my points or edges or faces. The same approach with the switch node and I want to transform this icosphere in the position of the result of this layout and I want to export in the group input the scale of this transform and we can call it point scale from zero so we can set it as a float number or you can use the radius as you want to do the radius the scale whatever you want Control H to hide the attribute that we are not using then link this to a join geometry link the result of the points here and the result in the viewer attribute and we can also use a switch node if we don't want to have the point scale so if I want the point scale there is the point here but I can add an attribute move up set these to boolean and points and use a switch node where if the points is checked I want this geometry otherwise no geometry so I have to link this to the join geometry here and drop this link and this is the final result we can add a set material here and a set material here if you want to have different material red red and a white material here select white material here turn on the material preview and this is the result with the visualization of the index I can increase these and see points the index of, of the edges or the index of the faces and this is the group input so I remember that if you want to use this group input in a new file you have to create a new general file and then then use the menu link or append, select the blend file that contains the index viewer, select the subfolder node tree and select the index viewer. Make sure to have the camera and check the camera to view in the viewer attributes. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, I hope you like it, if you want to leave a comment or check a like I will appreciate it. You can download this project from my Gumroad page or create this group node from scratch. If you like what I'm doing please subscribe to my channel and check the bell icon to get a notification about new posted videos and see you to the next tutorial of Blender and Geometry Notes. Bye!